Okay, so we are going to do a procedure today on a dislocated finger and also we got a subungual hematoma. I'm going to come right over here to my patient. But, sir, can you tell me what happened to your finger last night? Okay, we were horse playing around. Horse playing, okay. Yeah, we had my shirt. We were going to spin. We yeah. let it go. I caught the curve stone going down. Okay, you caught the curve going down. So. On x-ray, which we'll show the, on the video, you actually have a dislocated joint right there. And uh, so this joint right here is, is dislocated. And then the bone on that tuft on the finger is, is fractured. And then you've got, you got some blood underneath the nail right in there, which I think we're going to try and drain a little bit. So that can hurt pretty bad. So what we're going to start out with, though, is a... Um, metacarpal block. I think we're going to try that. It's not as good as the digital blocks, but when it works, it works. And then we're going to reduce you, and then we're also going to do a nail trepanation here, too. So, all right. You okay with this being on uh, YouTube? Yes, your sir. Hand, your hand will be famous? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Can you lay your these fingers out? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're just, this is, is dirty, but we're, it's really clean. Okay, so we're just going to Okay, and we need to let it dry. So, straight down here. <laughs> Big breath, here we go. Hold That's still, hold famous. still, relax, yeah, relax. Perfect, okay. We're just going to be putting some in, okay? You're doing good. Hurting you too much? Yeah, and you pulled back just a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can pull back again just to I mean, verify. No, I was saying you came back off bone? Yes. Okay. Yes. Went down, touched bone, came back. Is it going, is it flowing mm -hmm. in pretty easily? Yeah, we got um, one cc in. About another half? Yeah. Okay. Pull so our operator today is a you're a nurse practitioner? Yes. Okay. And you're in a you're in a training program for emergency medicine. Right. So, so and that's the this is the first metacarpal block you've done, correct? Yes. All right, <laughs> good enough. <laughs> the the patient's looking at us like, oh no! I didn't tell you that first, did I? I've done <laughs> digital blocks, but I haven't done a metacarpal block. All right, so it's it's been about a minute, two minutes, and you're starting to feel some numbness already. Yes, Can you feel yeah. here? So what we're gonna do is we'll be back here in, in about. Uh, yeah. It's still hurting him. He yeah, jumped. So we'll be back here in about five ten minutes and see how you're doing. If and, and if this doesn't work, then we'll go ahead and just do the plain old. Uh, digital blocks. The metacarpal block wasn't exactly successful. He still had pain, so he's getting a digital block now. About one and a half. That'll work. And that's, um, all right, young man. Oh, oh I'm yeah. sorry, babe. What happened? I touched the end of his finger, yeah. which he didn't like, which I don't blame him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, babe. We're trying to get you all numbed up, okay? Okay. Now, is this your first digital block, too? Well, I, I've done it on the toes. Okay, got it. <laughs> but, uh... All right, we're going to come back here in a minute and see if it's better. So... The procedure here for reducing a dislocated finger is to grasp it, hyperextend it, basically um, br bring it back up, hyperextend it, and then pull it and then extract it and pop it back in place. So in other words, you're kind of, of uh, taking your finger, you're pulling on it, and then you're going to uh, hyperextend it to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, disimpact it from 
where it's at and then pull it and bring it back down. Okay. All right. Okay, so do I hold here? Yep. And then let me, let me, uh, do I hold uh, on the side or the top? Uh, what, whatever works best for you, wherever you get the best grip. Okay. But you're gonna, that, that looks like a good grip. And then you're gonna bring it, pull on it and hyperextend at the same time. Hyperextend. Yeah, I felt it go back. Okay, did it pop in? I can feel it crunching Well, let's, let's move the finger, let's uh, bend the joint. Up. Yeah. As far as I can get it. And then bring it down. Okay, so let's let's move the joint and let's see if it see if it bends. Can you bend it like that? Can you squeeze like this? Not looking real good. No. Nope. And I messed against the hose. I tell you what. There we go. Okay. So what I'm gonna I still th yeah, it's not it's not improved yet. So I'm gonna grab it. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of force. Well oh, maybe that's okay, okay. And I didn't actually get a chance to hyperextend it major, but I felt it pop, and I felt it go back in. So, but it's 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 um, it now is back in place. But that took a little muscle. More power. muscle than I was giving. Well, <laughs> um, go ahead and bend your fingers now. There we go. There we go. That's working. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to do a nail trepanation. You're going to have to put your finger right here. Have you lay? down okay and now he can't feel burning or pain so what you're going to do is just, I'm just touch, gonna it. touch and come off come touch and come off yeah okay because he can't tell you if it's if it's burning badly so a little bit more Turn it around, yeah. Turn it around like that. He doesn't. He doesn't like the smell of this. He says. I don't blame him. Can I give you a shot over here? It's antibiotic. It's antiseptic. Okay. Okay. What I think I would do next is is try the 18 gauge needle okay. on that because um, I don't know if it's just doing a good job of cauterizing, but the bleeding hasn't, the blood hasn't come up through there yet. So. Okay. So we're gonna just start spinning with that thing. Sorry. So we're giving you yeah, some yeah, we're giving yeah. you some antibiotics since this is essentially an open fracture. There we which, go. There you go. Now you got the blood coming back out of there. This will help relieve some of your pressure in that finger when the numbing medicine goes away. So make that hole big enough because it they clot off pretty easily. So try and give yourself a, a little a bigger good, circumference there. Yeah, yeah. okay. I'll have to, so yeah, so we'll keep doing it till we give ourselves a, a, a big enough hole so it'll continue draining. Okay. All right. Let me get a thing and I'll wipe and then we can see. All right. Holding the needle up just to...